So hello guys, welcome back to Learning MG. Today I'm bringing you a new video. This time it's over the RAM of the actual MacBook Pro, uh, but you can apply it to almost any MacBook. So basically you've got eight gigabytes. As you can see, currently I have eight gigabytes with the chip M1. So you can also get 16 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes. Now I'm gonna explain my, basically my opinion. Eight gigabytes would be for everyday uh, people who do not actually need the MacBook to do uh, many actually uploading uh, videos or actually actually doing code and editing and if software updates, programming, decoding. For everyday users, I think this is more than enough. I've had it myself with my personal computer and I haven't had any issues and I have uploaded quite a bit of videos, almost 2000 to be honest. And uh, then it would be the 16 gigabytes, obviously as the gigabytes of RAM go in crescendo, so do the price, so bear that in mind. And then uh, the 16 gigabytes would be more of uh, for using any type of software so that's, uh, that you edit and you do all sorts of uh, photo, pictures, video, programming, editing. Then that would be more of the actual uh, programming uh, stuff or gamers that need to use the actual uh, MacBook, then that would be ideal too. I think that's around the actual price. Then 32 gigabytes would be for people who actually do everything that has to do with animation, 3D, uh, 4K, 8K videos that are long that you need to upload. Maybe you have two or three uh, YouTube channels and you upload videos of two to three hours. You're an editor and you need to upload them. Maybe then uh, 32 gigabytes to keep uh, almost any any function going. Because for instance, with eight gigabytes, uh, sometimes it will actually tell you that you need to shut some uh, actual um, uh, pages because you've got too much uh, of a big of a deal. And that's true. Other than that, I do think that in general, they work pretty awesomely. Now the differences in prices between the actual gigabytes, it would be around 400 bucks or 500 bucks or even more, depending on the actual gate. For instance, eight gigabytes and 32 gigabytes of RAM have a very, very different price of almost 1000 bucks of difference. So you've got to bear that in mind, especially if you also upload the actual gigabytes of your own memory of your uh, Apple as well as the RAM. So as always, if you've got any doubts about which one to use, I would personally choose the 16 gigabytes. I think it's the optimum uh, way to go. But as always, if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment section and me or anyone from the Learning MG team will answer as shortly as possible. Remember, we usually answer in under 24 hours. And uh, yeah, as always, if you've got any questions, feel free to answer. And remember, we've got the membership of the Learning MG team activated in case you guys want to be part of the family and you get to access the videos previously from them coming out. And of course, you've got the 24 hour answer. But <laughs> Very, very reduced as you've got the co to put comments before we actually uh, upload it to the public. So as always, thank you very much for watching.